All right, so we're gonna go ahead and update our units and we're here to more so update the Mega Live, but we're gonna do all the units. And I actually talked to Hummingbird and they said when you do this, you wanna make sure that all your units are on. And um, once you do that, make sure all the SD cards are removed from each unit. And then what I do is I come in here to settings and on all the units, I make sure that I restore defaults. Next, I use a 16 gigabyte um, Sam Disk Extreme SD card. Um, I don't think you need the Extreme, but I think Hummingbird recommends anything lower than 32 gigabytes on any kind of SD card. And one thing you need to make sure that is uh, you wanna make sure that everything is cleared off of your SD card. You wanna make sure that um, you know your previous updates are not on there. Just make sure it's all clear. All right, so once I see that everything's cleared off my SD card, I actually open up Hummingbird. So you go to hummingbird.johnsonoutdoors.com and then uh, you go to support. Then scroll down to software updates. And then choose your units. I actually have the Helix series, the tens. So I'm gonna click on that, click that and select the ones that I need. I'm gonna do all of the ones that I have. I actually have one for just mapping, side imaging, and then um, the two up front are actually just down imaging. Now this seems like something new. Um, you're definitely gonna to have to check your unit and uh, make sure that your number is either greater or less than the number that they provide for you. So mine are actually lower. So I'm gonna go ahead and just select lower. All right, and then go ahead and click on continue to software download. Then you're gonna see it up here in the corner. I'm gonna to try to load, let me see, okay. Gotta scroll down to the bottom. It kind of tells you everything that it's it's gonna be doing. Uh, important software update notes, jump to current software download. Um, it just giving you the version. But yeah, you just scroll down to the bottom. If you wanna read all this, it's a lot to read sometimes. And then down here on the bottom, download the software. This is the newest version. Then you're gonna see that it's gonna load up in the top. And then once it does, only takes a couple seconds. Looks like download's complete. Click on it. Double click that. And then here it is right here. So then what I do is I actually click on it. Actually, it's right here underneath. So you have a file and then you have like a, a little piece of paper that has, I wanna say like a zipper on it maybe, but there's there's two versions that you can, you can uh, click on. And you don't need the entire file. You can just click this little uh, tab below the file and just drag it into where the SD card is. So um, I'm gonna just take this right here, I'm gonna grab it, and then I'm gonna set it down here in that 16 gigabyte. Let's see if it goes in there. All right, now you see that it's loading. It's super easy, super quick too. Once I dragged it into the 16 gigabyte, I can go ahead and click that. All right, and then you can see right here, 16 gigabyte, and then there's the document right there. So all you do now is just, um, you know, remove it, remove the SD card off out of the computer. So I usually put it to this screen just so I can see everything just a little bit better. Slide that SD card in there if I can. It's so difficult with one hand. Slide it in there. And then you just kind of wait a little bit, then you'll see this screen pop up. The auto zoom's not jacking us up. So 
So now it recognizes it and uh, you know it says down here on the bottom, replace software version 2890 with the newest version. And then you go ahead and say yes. And then it says abort software. You don't want it to do that. All right? You want it to upload. So hit over to, to no. And then as you see, it's updating the software. But yeah, you just now it's just a waiting game. It only takes maybe two to three minutes to do it. But I mean, if you have multiple units, it's obviously going to take a little bit longer. But the video is more so for the Mega Live. But Hummingbird, you know, says that you probably want to make sure that all your units are up to date prior because a lot of this stuff runs through these units to get to the, the 360 and the Mega Live. Now, once you feel like it's been updated, um, when I first started doing this, I actually waited for another sign that showed up and said it was okay to remove your SD card. It says like everything is uploaded. It should be up here in a couple more minutes or seconds or so. Um, but sometimes it doesn't upload and if it doesn't, you can still go into your, your view and your menu and see if the update is updated. So right here on this unit, you can see 2.890 and the other update um, is the, the more advanced update and you know, you can do, you can check all that through, through your settings. So if it doesn't do it here in a second, I can probably do it. But a lot of the times, um, you know, it will show you that it's okay to remove it. And sometimes I actually went through before that symbol came up and, uh, I saw that everything was updated. So I'm going to go ahead and just try it. So let's go to hold down view. Well, let's exit out of here first hold down view go to system system status and there's the update 2.930 as you can see we had the 2.890 so I'm gonna do this to all my units real quick and once I get all the units updated to the newest version, then I'm gonna go ahead and do my Mega Live and we'll get to that video here in a second too. All right, there it is. SD card successfully encrypt. So you can go ahead and take the SD card out. All right, now we have all the, the head units updated to the version 2.930. So now we're gonna do the, the Mega Live 1.300 for the Helix because we have all Helix units. Um, so you go down to download, download it. Right here, you click on the download. Let's see, one second. Double click on the download. All right, so as you see right here, we have the update right here and Mega Live. I just took the SD card out and I put it in the unit, but what you're going to do is you're going to drag this file right here, the one underneath this, this file, you'll use this one right here with the little zipper on it, drag it over to your SD card, and then remove your SD card, and I just put the SD card in here, and this is what it's going to ask you, update Mega Live software from version 1.290 to 1.300, and then you go ahead and hit over on the tab and hit yes abort this software you do not want to abort it because you want it to to go ahead and run so go ahead and hit no all right and then it's going to give you this little percentage right here it doesn't take as long as it may seem it's going to take it's it's actually pretty quick um and every once in a while when this um screen comes off you won't know what percentage it is so just kind of wait a little bit and once this leaves here if you're on this setting here, the accessory test, you'll actually be able to see the version right here. You see Mega Live right here. So once it goes away and you're not really sure where it's at, if you see the version right here, it's probably safe for you to go ahead and take it out. But that's exactly how I update all my Helix units and my Mega 3, or not my Mega 360, my Mega Live. And I will be out on the water tomorrow. So uh, we're going to definitely check out everything and make sure everything's running smooth and hope that you know the mega live is even better guys one thing that you need to keep in mind is that you know the more updates that are available the better the unit is probably going to run you know there 
they're working on the the units all the time and you know they're they're trying to improve them so anytime that you you see an update go ahead and update it and um, if you have any kind of difficulties or troubles definitely reach out to hummingbird and anytime that i reached out to hummingbird they were super helpful super quick all right so if you look right here for the mega live version 1.300 we are fully updated Thank you.